today, we will be beating Elden Ring and all its main bosses, only leveling intelligence. Whoa, 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 hey, 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 hey! Now I know what you're thinking, oh, that's gonna be damage. insanely easy. You can just use Comet Azure blindfolded on every boss and beat them first try. While you're right, but you're actually kind of wrong because today's challenge, there's two important rules. Rule number one being that we have to use a different spell for every major boss fight in the game. For example, let's say we beat Margit using the Magic Glint Blade spell. Once we have defeated him with this spell, we are no longer allowed to use this spell on any major story boss in the game moving forward. In rule number two, just like every other Elden Ring challenge run we do, my son Elijah joins me on the journey. Now that the rules have been set, it's time to make our custom meme character. What about he heaven Sockings? <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> I feel really bad making him look really weird. Yeah, I don't Because Stephen Hawking, he... obviously he had a condition, so yeah, his face so... looked a little weird, but I don't want to make it too accurate. I don't, yeah. <laughs> I don't want it to be really offensive. <laughs> Just do it. Okay, That's no, so cool. bad. It fits him per- why does it fit him? The hair is perfect with the face. In every Elden Ring challenge run we do, we try to optimize our build before fighting our first boss, Margit. So first we grab Torrent, then we also picked up the Royal House Scroll, and this would give us access to two spells, the Glint Blade Phalanx and also the Carrion Slicer. We also wanted to give our intelligence a little boost, so we picked up the Morning Star and we'd use this weapon to farm the Dragon Grail. We stopped in Kaelid and grabbed the right side of the Dectus Medallion, which would be one piece we needed to get access to the Altless Plateau. Then we farm Grail for over 90,000 runes and boost our intelligence a little bit. Next Next we grabbed a spell called Eternal Darkness. Now this spell is pretty cool because it stops incoming projectiles of other magic and is going to be really useful later in the game. We also went and grabbed the Meteorite Staff and this is hands down the best early game stat that you can get. It already has S scaling in int which is really really huge. We also went and grabbed the Rock Sling spell and the Rock Sling is really good against bosses that are resistant to magic because it actually does physical damage as well. Next we stopped and picked up Night Comet. Now this spell is going to be really really useful and we actually use it to fight Melania later in the game. And we grab the Staff of Loss. And this is cool because you can put it in your offhand and it boosts all night sorceries by 30%. Now we wanted to unlock Lusat's Staff. This is the staff we're going to be using a majority of the whole entire run. So we had to defeat the Nox duo before getting access to it. Son, that's that's almost too easy. They're not even aggroing you. She's just... She's just giving you a stare down while her sister just got killed. She's got that stretchy scrotum weapon. What did he say? Hey. Oh. <laughs> stretchy scrotum weapon. Dude, I'm cooking them up. Yeah, that's that's ridiculous. They're invisible, so I can't. Are you dodge completely it. charging that? Yeah. Oh my gosh, bud. Dude, that's crazy. That's so. That was. That's insane, bud. Give me that stat. Nice job. Let's go. Now it was time to make our way to the Turtle Pope to turn in our scroll and buy some spells. Now this was a really long hike of boredom for Eli to get there, and he tends to get a little antsy. Take a look at this parkour moment. Hewen Sockings. Eli, there's no way you live this. Son, okay. think this through now. You took damage. <laughs> but I don't think there's any way out of this. Okay, look at me. Yeah, you seen it? It's right there below you. There's no way you get out of this, son. Um, I think, I think you... Oh! <laughs> That's a pro player right there. So, there's no way, Eli. That's a pro player right there. Next, we wanted to stop and get a bread and butter spell for any intelligence build, Terra Magica. Now, Terra Magica gives you a boost to your magic spells by 35% for 30 seconds, as long as you're standing in the vicinity of it. And the way you get Terra Magica is you have to go to the Academy Crystal Cave and defeat the Crystallian Duo boss. You might not have enough blue for this fight, bud. Maybe kill her with Rock Sling because it's physical damage. Sorry, guys, I'm not reading chat. Get far so all three of them hit her. She's standing in front of the pillar. There you go, bud. All three of them didn't hit her last time. There so you go. can just use your... Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Uh, 
Yo, what's up, Mate? Oh, yeah, Red, the Canon for sure. Almost 70 likes, Eternal? That's insane. I can't even see that on my side. 71 people, dude. 71. This is, guys, you're killing the stream. This is insane. Nice, bud. There we go. Nice job, buddy. Great work, bud. Next, we headed to the Carrion Manor to fight our next boss, Loretta. In the intro of the video, I mentioned that we are not allowed to repeat spells on major story bosses. So if you notice us repeating spells, the only way we're allowed to do this is on smaller side bosses. You got to get in the middle of the arena. I think Alms wants us to use the black hole. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like, no, that... She has RNG, you don't, son. That Glenstone arc kind of sucks. It does, I told you. All right, regroup here. You got four blue left. Full tank of blue in the tank. Night Comet might be the best bet. It's a little slower, just don't charge it. It does a lot of damage, bud. I think you have enough blue. Like, that's... Oh, you're going to get it here. I promise you. You're out of blue, though, just so you know. I don't want you to cast something and get stuck. <clears throat> Perfect. I mean, that's hitting for 300. Dude, you're going to do it right here, bud. No, the chair got you. No blue, just a heads up. Good dodge, pal. All right. I see what you're up to. Six oh two on that. Nice job, buddy. That's two. I would have killed her there. That was stupid. You got her. Whatever. Did you just kill her? Yeah, I killed her. It looks like she has one health. Oh no. Nice job, bud. See? I knew I killed her. After defeating Loretta, we started Selvius's quest line because this guy has some really, really useful spells for later in the game. And also went and picked up Golden Vow, which gives you an 11.5% increase to your damage. After all this setup, it was time for me to use my first spell against Margit. Well, maybe it will. Yeah, look at that damage, dude. That's so stupid, son. Just cast a bunch. I am. Just died. I mean, bumped. Oh, he's in the air. It's apparently, it's not gonna hit him. Dude, you're gonna cook this guy up. Don't even get hit once. I was if trying you get not hit to. once. I know. You get hit once, restart. No endurance. Okay. He's dead. <laughs> I told you dad's got it. I know what I'm doing. After I defeated Margit and retired the magic limp blade spell, it was time to make our way through Stormvale Castle and for Eli to fight Godric. This is going to be cool. Oh, you're going there? Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Big damage, bud. Big damage. Watch your endurance. Okay, you're good. No! Oh, you, Eli, you got so lucky in that. Be careful, it's gonna hit you. Maybe you pop a blue. Oh, bud. You blew that guy's back out. Yep. <laughs> oh, uh, you're risky, bro. Okay. You're putting a clinic. Okay. What? Dude, I rolled 100%. Hey, you were doing really good on the first run there. Put that off. Button. Oh, I didn't cast. Yeah, I just go with the. Yeah. You might be hitting three here. Just. No stamina. It's back up. Like, I'm rolling. I don't understand. Whatever. Yeah, that's punishable. I didn't, I didn't think that was going to hit, bud. I am so surprised at the range of this thing. No! You're out of FP. What? Uh, yeah. How? This thing takes no FP. I don't know. Just get the heck out of there. You can go to the left. Yeah, yeah perfect. 
I didn't know if he knew that one. Oh, he's dead now. He's dead. Nice job, buddy. Dude. That was... Oh, I am so surprised I, dude, at the I range where I'm rolling on some of these attacks, though. After defeating Godric, we stopped and finished his Selvius quest and also bought all the spells in his shop. Then we made our way through the Ray Lucari Academy and picked up the Comet spell and also the Graven School Talisman, which increases your sorcery damage by 4%. Now, Eli chose to use the Glintstone Pebble in the beginning of the Red Wolf fight was a huge mistake, but Eli's pretty stubborn. And after dying over and over to Red Wolf, he was determined to beat him only using the Glintstone Pebble, which he finally did. Here you go. Nice camera there. Nice camera. That camera was. Wow! What the hell happened? Game of the there? year, folks. He hit him in the snout. That was a pretty bad camera. It's like you spawned in his butt crack. Oh, he bites you. Nice. <laughs> so if I play it like a melee fight, it doesn't do anything. You got no health. Just a heads up, but all right, you're already on it. Nice. No way. He didn't dodge that. So, okay. Boy, hit you with a cannon. Boy, like. That boy lit you up, up with a cannon. Pull up the VOD! That boy lit you up with a cannon. Pull up the VOD! I'm rolling! Here you go. I want you to zoom in in the face cam. Okay. Holy <laughs> fudge. <laughs> Roll! <laughs> he bite you. Dude. This arena sucks my balls! All right, let's, that's enough of that. I have headphones on. You're going to blow my eardrums out of my head. Come on. Nice dodge, bud. Two more, I think. Just play patient. Oh. That's insane. I can't hit the boss if he dodges every time. Every time I do the pebble, he dodges. Yeah. Every time. <laughs> That's the one, every time. If you could bait that a couple more times. Nice, buddy. One more. Just be patient here. One cast, though. Be careful. Your FP is pretty low. I can't see, bro. There you go. Nice, nice job, buddy. That wasn't terrible. Ah! Hit it. People in the comments section... Some guy said, it's annoying when you guys say, let's go every time. Shut up. Now it was time for Renala and we chose to use the rock sling spell because she is really, really resistant to magic. But the rock sling spell actually does physical damage. That's Terra Magica and then, yeah. Just stand away so you don't. No, back up. Wait, what? Oh, the third one's not hitting her. Nice, Dude, the bud. third one's not hitting her, man. What? Hodge. Hodge. Yeah, that, that's so annoying. I don't know if you want to heal to be safe, buddy. I do. She just killed her own kids. She's relentless. I think you might get it. Everyone's still not hitting her, man. Oh, that's definitely still FB, not hitting her. FB maybe. You're only going to get one cast, yeah. I didn't get it. I don't know if you want to do the... Um, oh, jeez. What's nice is you could be at range with that. Oh, buddy, that physical damage is... Careful with that. That's it's going to one-shot you. I don't know if it's an option if you want to cast that eternal darkness. Oh, buddy. Look at look at that shine. That's almost cheesy. Where are what? you going? What? What the hell happened there? <laughs> just a side note, you're out of FP. Just just to give you a heads up, buddy. That is big damage against her. It's like she won't even dodge it. There's no way it's this easy, bud. That was stupid. That was the dumbest thing I've ever Let's seen. Let's go! That was, son, that was... <laughs> Buddy, that was insane. 
After defeating Ranallo, we went and grabbed the left side of the Dectus Medallion, and this gave us access to the Altus Plateau. Next, we wanted to grab a talisman called the Ritual Sword Talisman, and this increases your damage by 10% when you have full HP, and you have to defeat the Demi-Human Queen to get access to this. No, no FP? Underneath it, so it gives I am. Me. Easy! After that, it was time for me to fight our next major boss, the Draconic Tree Sentinel. Now, what I love about these challenge and mixing up the spells is not knowing what's going to be crappy, but not knowing what's going to be amazing. And when we fought the Draconic Tree Sentinel, we definitely pulled off the amazing. Take a look. Okay, that was surprisingly Comet, impressive. Comet. Lock on. Daddy, out of here. Get me out of here. Get me out of here, baby. Ah, <laughs> I frames. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Yep. Okay, but that was good. What happened with the miss? Was I not close enough there? Yeah, you were. I you felt were like I was licking his ball bag. Watch your profanity. Cast it. Cast two. Then roll back FP. Yeah. Okay. He's haggard! Oh my gosh, I can get in He's here. He's gonna get the second phase. Yes, yes. One more! He's one shot! Ah! <laughs> Dude, he, how did he stagger? You got so lucky where I you hit, hit like him every two times one of them after. on him. You, got, you hit him two times after. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna pass out. I'm gonna pass out. That was sick. That's what the people wanted. That's you guys don't get that anywhere else. Who are you gonna see beat the tree sentinel with crystal barrage? Before heading into Lindell, we actually wanted to optimize our build a little bit more. Our talismans were terrible, and we didn't even have any crystal tears in our fish stick. The next order of business was to go and defeat the Erd Tree boss that gives you the magic shrouding tier. And this tier is important because it increases your magic damage by 20% for three minutes. Nice hit. Nice. That is really freaking good spell. I have no FP, bro, and I'm using the wrong class. He's, he snipe him one more time. I think you'll get him here. He's dead. He's dead. Nice. Nice shot, buddy. We also went back to the Ray Lucari Academy and got the Radagon Icon Talisman, which shortens the casting time of your spells. We also went and completed Thop's quest line. This is really important because there's two spells that are hidden behind a puzzle, and Thop's gives you the emote that you need to use to unlock these two spells, the Cannon of Haima, and also the Gavel. Making our way over to the Round Table Hold, we cashed in Ronaldo's Remembrance and got the Full Moon spell. We also went and defeated Evergel Godric and got the Godfrey Icon, which increases the damage of your charged spells by 15%. We also went and visited the rat Saluvius completed his quest line and got the magic scorpion charm, which increases your magic damage by 12%. Making a quick detour, we picked up the Kama Zer spell, everybody's favorite. And we also got the Faith Knot tier so that we could cast a spell called Rolling Magma. And this was huge because our next boss was weak to fire. Cast Terra Magica here. No way you're pulling this off. Here. Rolling Magma, like the. Floor it's not even right doing here. anything to him. Oh, that hit him. Oh my gosh, bud. Two are going to hit. That was pretty big damage there. He covers a lot of ground. Be careful. That is really good, buddy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love it, bud. I'm running away. Get the freak out of there. Wait, I'm going to run away. Oh, ah! no. oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Ah! All right. I'm gone. He's gonna respawn him. This is the strat, guys. This is the strat. Get away from me, pervert! Right I don't know. Know. Oh. No! What happened? You got zero damage. Yeah, I did. I got damage. Are you sure, buddy? Yeah. It's gonna, exp it's gonna explode on him. He's dead! Nice job, pal. That magma, that rolling magma, magma. was surprisingly pretty good, dude. Magma.
It was really good. After defeating that boss, we unlocked the infinite FP tier, which was going to be really important coming up. One last detour, Eli had to go back to Caleb to fight his favorite boss, the Erd Tree there, because he loves just rune optimization and watching those runes stack up. So this boss actually gives you over 100,000 runes when you beat it and use a foul foot. Yo. Yo. I can't see though. All right, he's like tweaking out a little bit. That is so good. I I can't see them. Should I play it like a melee fight? Probably. Ah, not enough FP. That's annoying. Oh. Kill him. Ow. You're dead. Uh, pop this. Nice. Give me that. Give me that. That just gave me an erector. Oh my goodness gracious. That always, uh, Get the blood flowing to my feet. Stop it. Get some help. And before fighting Godfrey, I actually went and grabbed the Carrion Piercer spell, which I was going to use against him. And now after our character optimization 2.0, it was time for me to fight Godfrey. I, I need this to really go. He needs it to really lock in. Why doesn't? Why is it not doing the, the jumpy jump? Why is it not doing the jumpy I don't know why jump? he's not doing it. He's walking out towards you now. Right? Ah. Oh, oh, right, it's not so much stamina. I need the stamina tier. Like, that one cast of that literally almost uses all your stamina. Oh, yeah. I'm going for it. I'm sending it, son. Oh, my. Dodge it. <laughs> that was. That just gave me an, an erector. erector. <laughs> all right. Holy cat. I don't know what the fuck's that. He doesn't do his thing anymore. I have no idea why. Maybe you're back going forward mu too much? It's going to input read it, so I'm going to hide behind the pole. <laughs> he didn't see it happen. That sucks. I really wanted that one. That's not the one where he goes around? No. This one? That is. But sometimes he doesn't do it. This tier's helping a lot, buddy. It is? Oh my gosh, yeah. He's not doing it. Sometimes he doesn't, doesn't. Maybe he doesn't feel like it. He'll do it now, probably. Oh. He'll do it now. Nice. That was not bad at all. It was easy. That stamina tier helped, helped. insane, bud. Sweet. Like I was able to recover from each one. Okay, Red, thank you. Totally not cool, dude. You could tear magic it, maybe, and then Yo! shackle him. One shot. Oh, you're yep. Okay. That's where my testicles come off my body. <laughs> uh, this, is, gonna, this is my favorite thing of these runs. We're going to try it. We're going to try This it. is so fun. We're going to get it here. Just using the weirdest spell combinations to make it work. Terra Magica, lock on. Especially we're if we can basically Magica destroy here. him in a Hi, one cycle. Ma. No, I mean moon. There we go. You're fine. FP. Yep. Good. Nope. Oh, I'm, I'm good. <gasps> Beautiful dodge, son. Shackle. Nice. Haima. Gavilahima, nice. One more. One more. Oh, it didn't stagger. I think it moon, did. You can moon, though. Slow. Moon, moon. Moon. That is so cool looking, bud. 
by Gavel here. Yep. No! Traded! Did you get him? Traded! I we traded! I think you guys traded. We did. Did he? Oh! Hey, we traded! It <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Class of now. Phalanx, yeah. Now turn drink around. FP. Yep. Then drink get your spell this. ready. Yep. Now I'm just... going to start casting it here. No. That sucks. No stamina. Be careful. You still got infinite FP. So you're looking good, bud. One more quick one. Got it. Nice yes! job, buddy. That's sick, bud. Didn't even, <laughs> couldn't even have time to face transition, dude. <laughs> After defeating Radon, we wanted to get a new spell, the Oracle Bubble in Nakron City. But there was one boss standing in our way, the Mimic Tier. Brandon from the JFAM community submitted the challenge. He said he'd give us a donation if we beat the Mimic Tier using the Tibia Mariner spell. Thank you. He's a tanker. Oh, I made him pop his bubble and it killed it. That's hilarious. Hi, mother freaker. Oh, okay, Logan, thank you. Yep. Mother freaker's dead. All right. Or rather, the knowledge. Yep. Tibia summons. It's it, it's weird the wiki doesn't dude. tell you. Now, unfortunately, we were a bit short on faith, so we had to grab the faith talisman, and little did we know, this spell is absolutely horrendous, especially against really small enemies. Take a look at our struggle. Terry. <laughs> What the heck? Son, this is trash. What is going on? It's not hitting oh him. Oh my gosh. That is so bad. Eli, it's not hitting him though. He's just catching Terra Magica for you. He's helping you out. Look it, he's helping you. This is not hitting him though. He's helping you. But how do you hit the... I don't know, dad. Eli, how do you hit him? I don't know, dad. He... He's gonna like roll to it. How do you, how do you hit him? He's got to stand still. That's the only way. He's got to stand still. Yeah, no! one shot him. No, he's hit. Guys, I'm not going to have enough FP. No, get him against the wall. Keep going. I'm trying, bud. <laughs> I, I have FP. to die. Yep. I right, just quit. Out. Get him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, keep running. Run. Run, little boy. Run. Get up in the corner, idiot. Get up in the corner, idiot. No, keep, like, you gotta back him up far. <gasps> yeah! Did it get him? It got him! <laughs> we got him! <laughs> oh, there Let's you go! go buddy. That just gave me an erector. That oh. just gave me an erector. Thank that just again, gave me Brandon. an erector. After completing our shenanigans with the Tibia Mariner summon spell and also grabbing the Oracle bubble spell, it was time to take on everybody's favorite boss in their favorite arena, the Fire Giant. So we had a plan. We wanted to try the Xamara Ice Storm spell in his first phase and also the Founding Reign of Stars in his second phase. And let me tell you, this combination actually worked out perfectly. Take a look. And it's like... Basically, they have a water filter there with the same minerals, and the water filter mimics New York City water. So that's what they make their dough with. So it's supposed to be the closest to New York pizza without being in New York. It's thin crust, um, like the brick oven with a nice crispy undercarriage, you know? Oh, baby. Yeah, Brody. Oh, it's, it's, it was, it's phenomenal pizza. There you go, bud. There you go. No FP, just a heads up. You're not going to get another one off, though. 10,000. That was nice, pal. Listen here, Logan. The undercarriage is... You got to have a good undercarriage. You know what I'm saying? It's important. A uh, stagger? Question mark? No? Eli's getting frisky with the risky. No FP. <laughs> Eli, 27 damage. Just, just pop some FP, dude. How did you live? Phase two, nice. I'm just wondering if the stars, if you could get closer, would be better here. You know what I mean? 
I just don't know, bud. If you can get closer, like if you could run up closer there, it's way better. Good Lord, Eli, 4,000 damage. Go for it. Wait, I'm so smart. Wait. That's really good. Holy fudge. He's just sitting in it. Finally did something that we wanted to do. Sorry if I'm not reading chat, guys. I'm letting Eli focus. That's, yeah, like, if he doesn't move. Oh. FP. FP. Of course, the mother freaking cat's going at it. Yeah. He's all right. Just ignore him. I think it's too far away, son. No. Nice, bud. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I mean torrent to save the day one more of those and and that's all you just be patient he's literally one if he does a two hand sweep yep and then cast underneath him perfect that should be you you'll get it that's die. game die 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 yes i told you great job son let's go that dude. was it that I'll, I'll that spell is so good we should have just stuck with that but you don't know until you try right after defeating the fire giant, it was time to fight the foreskin duo. Now, I had a little surprise for Eli. He's actually never used Comet Azure before, so I told him to save it for the godskin duo fight, grab a couple sleep pots, and let me tell you, he had no idea it was this good. His reaction was priceless. He's sleep skinny at least. Oh my gosh. This fight is so a pain in the butt. Nice dodge, son. You already got them both. Yep, I did. Okay, lock onto the back guy. Yep, I know. Okay. I know, I know, I know. All right. I so get back up a little bit, though. I might go like this. Because it might not hit the skinny dude. It will. If I go okay. like this. Just back so up, though. Back up. Give yourself. How much? All right, like there. This? All right. Yep. Um, Golden Vow. Cast your Terra Magica. Drink uh, your flask. I'm not going to drink that yet. Um, Common Azure. Golden Vow. Then uh, drink FP. FP. Right? Just in case you run out. FP. No, no, no. I'm good. They deserve it. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> These guys deserve all the disrespect. Like, all of it. That that was perfect boss to use Comet Azure on. Holy And that was the first shoot. time you ever used it, wasn't it? Yeah, I didn't know it did that. It Yes, it deletes them. Coke. Beating Elden Ring, but Eli doesn't scream one time. I can't do that. Exactly, Viz9. You got it. The type of guy to watch Skibbity Toilet. What is, what is going I on? I watch Skibbity Toilet on the daily. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> That's my pre-stream warm-up, is watching Skibbity Toilet. Well, that was a little different there. Because I was too close. Oh. I got in his personal bubble. He was like, get out! Interesting, Eli. That literally used half your stamina, bud. That's insane. All right, now you got it locked in. No FP. Okay, I didn't know if you knew that. People will comment, like, why don't... People don't realize, like, I guess they don't see the whole situation, but there's so many times where you run out of FP and you accidentally try to cast. Mm -hmm. And by me telling you, it helps. Gosh. No stamina, bud. That was that might have been smart though, pal. Maybe even here. Just why he's... the balls on that guy. Yes! I would he he would he would have killed, killed you. Me. Yep. Nice job, pal. I was casting. That I was, was casting. nice. That was risky, dude. <laughs> you got it done. First try. <laughs> didn't even take that long <laughs> we got it nate it. we got it we're all right sometimes it takes you a little couple tries just to there it is that is show them show them go pull it back up level 99 in it right there baby right there 99 it with 400 right. hp i gotta look HP. at this 
After Eli destroyed Malekith, it was my turn to fight Sir Gideon the Douche. Now, if you're wondering what's the most humiliating way to kill Gideon, well, take a look at this spell that I used on him. It was absolutely hilarious. Just aim. That's not going to hit. You're too far. That might hit. Get straight with him. There you go. Now you can lock on. You can lock on now. That hit him. So it didn't work out the best that I thought it would, but I think it's going to be okay. Yeah, it's going to work. Yeah, that he's going to die. <laughs> <laughs> he got killed by a bubble bath. This guy's a loser, bro. He got killed by a bubble, dude. Oh my gosh. There you go. It worked. Upon my name as that music cut in. Yeah, that's freaking oh, sick, but... son. Lord have mercy. All right, I'm going to let Eli focus up. Lord have mercy. I'm about to bust. <laughs> I'm about to bust. Lord have mercy. I'm this, about to bust. Remember that bust. spell literally has... That, okay, but you might get a frost proc on him, though. Sorry, I had, to, I had to like tickle him a little bit. Just check it out. The range ain't it on that. Nice dodge, bud. Okay, you might get a frost proc. No FP. See, when I don't tell you, what's nice though is you get these little quick casts, bud, and you just get the chip away at him. I'm glad you know that one though. Like right here, you could just get two off. I think this actually might be pretty good, bud. I thought it was an ice spell. No FP. Wow, bud. Plays a little, s <laughs> you're playing great, Eli. I, that gets me every single time. No FP, just so you know, buddy. That's not going to frost proc him at all, buddy. I thought it would. Whoa, what? How did... How'd that hit? Be careful. You have no FP, just so you know. To be smart. You might literally get this first try. You're smart with it. You, there was the frost proc, finally. Yep, oh, got him. First try, <laughs> second, son. Second, 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 that, second. Oh, second try, sorry. That was Let's really go. good, buddy. Before fighting Radagon and the Elden Beast, we wanted to pick up a spell to use specifically against the Elden Beast, and this is the Meteorite of Estelle. How you obtain this is by beating Estelle in the Consecrated Snowfield, which Eli got it done. When you poise break him, he dis- Oh, wait, I forgot it. Son, if you, you're out of blue. Oh, I thought he's trying to grab me. <laughs> <laughs> if Once you stance break him, you could combat a Zer. If you wanted to try it, son. But you don't have a lot of FP. Hey, go, Terry. Yo, wait, this FP. is really good on him. It is. Because of the physical damage. Oh, that yeah, was too far away. Him. Eternal, that is hysterical that you mentioned that. I was going to try it, but then I like was like, do I want Maybe? To? One more stance break? Oh, he left. I thought he was going to grab me. Oh my gosh. Help. You need all those to hit. Maybe get into Rakirian Slicer if you point, if you stance break him, son. Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe get close and then... I think it's going to do it here. Right there. Get in Rakirian Slicer. And just get that... <laughs> okay, that was a really good idea. Oh, where is he? That was a really good idea. Don't grab me. Sorry, guys. I'm not reading chat. I'm just letting Eli focus up a little bit. The meteors just roll. Just spam roll that crap. Yep. 
Watch your stamina a little bit. That might reach. Come on, give us give us a little bit. Okay. Bud, you're a lucky dog. I thought that was gonna get you. Maybe maybe one more and you'll get that stance break. Come on. One more. I think you're gonna get it here. You got oh. it, Curry and Slicer. I yeah. think this is you. Yeah. Yeah. Nice job, Let's buddy. Let's go. Hit that rock. Get it up. Yeah, buddy. Nice job, yeah, buddy. buddy. Nice job. After beating Estelle, we wanted to put this spell to the test, and we also had to go to Melania a little later on after the Elden Beast fight, so we decided to test the spell using infinite FP on Loretta, and wait till you see what happened. It was amazing. Yeah, it is red. Ronnie's, Ronnie's moon is really good. No way, bud. No way. Dagger. Yo! <laughs> oh my god! Uh, oh, dude, I didn't see that happening. Hit that. Yo! That was that was awesome. Now it was time to fight Radagon and the Elden Beast. Radagon we chose to use the Carrion Slicer against, and also once again the Elden Beast fight, we were going to use the Meteorite of Estelle. Now let me tell you a little story, this is kind of crazy. The night before I was practicing on the Elden Beast on a mod I have on my computer, where you can fight any boss in the game you want as many times as you want. So I was practicing using this spell, trying to find the perfect way to cast it, and it was so RNG that about 1 out of 30 times I was able to 1 cycle him, so this was going to be pretty tough. The problem was was is that once you started casting the spell about five seconds in the elden beast would flinch and run away so we needed some rng on our side and let me tell you it actually worked second try take a look i think i think every souls game is considered to be pretty good i'm not sure which one's hated the most but yeah good thing you didn't winner uh winners uh because it was bad not good oh yeah winners it, it's gotten worse Yo, what's up, Huggy? Welcome back to the stream. Thanks for coming by on a Saturday. We're trying to get it done. Hold on, babe. I know food's here. He'll be down in a sec, babe. Thank you. Thanks, sweetie. Whoa! Be careful. No FP. No FP. Nice job, bud. Just put your flask on too. And your spell. You want me to do it or are you doing it? I'm gonna try. Okay, go ahead. Just cause I'm gonna No, really you're fine, buddy. So look, 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 look. So I'm running, drink yep. flask yep. now, right? Yep. So he's you gonna go flinch. Right... Go keep going. Go behind him, go behind him. Right now, cast. Here. Yes? Now lock on. There you go. Money. He's not you're not he's not. You got it! Keep casting! Wait! Keep casting! Wait! Wait! You're gonna get it. Wait! Yeah. We yes! got it! That's what I'm talking yes! about. There it is. Told you. Yes! That's the RNG we needed right there. He went for the star thing out of his back. Give me, buddy. Yes. He got it. That was the one cycle. There yes! it is. Yes! Yes, dude. After beating the Elden Beast, it was time to seal the deal and validate this run because for some reason, so many people think it doesn't count unless we fight Melania. Here you go, time to fight Melania. But we threw all the rules out the window. We allowed ourselves to use any spell that we wanted to use against her. And the best thing worked in the first phase and the second phase was Night Comet. She seemed to not dodge any of the Night Comet charged attacks. This worked out perfectly. And then we chose to start off the second phase with Comet Azur. Say what you want, but we got the job done and the challenge is complete to try it i was trying it Yo, a lady, little bit earlier what the fudge are you charging me for but her second phase is what we're most concerned about it's very difficult this first phase is not too bad we kind of have this down oh, for, oh, as a science oh, oh. oh yeah that's a fun build that's a fun build uh Shurika, for sure i don't know why it's delayed because like i press the button and like after an action and i can't it doesn't work like i don't get it is it like you have to wait or something because like i jump and then i try to cast it and i my hands on the button and then it just don't work well so, I, you can't do a jump cast no i know but i'm already on the ground i'm saying it like could i be like don't... a slight stamina recovery i don't know oh, oh. yeah but you're, you're fine you got plenty of distance 
Oh. That was good, bud. Oh, she came back with a little... One, two. Yeah. Buckle my shoe. All right, Melania. It's, just remember, it's your first phase, so calm down, okay? Yeah. Yeah, that's right, far. Yeah. Be careful. It'll hit. This, this spell is so good, though. 15... Wait, it's doing a lot of damage. What were we doing before? 17. It's doing less damage. Wait, what? Yeah. How? I don't know. Are you sure? Yeah, I thought it was doing 17. Well, is it because I'm... Well, let me try two-handed. Nope, same damage. All right, All right. Comet Azura. All right, uh, let's try it. Yo, what's up, IDK? Yep, look at that. That worked. Try it. Just cast. I'm just going to back up. That was good. 8,000, buddy. Wow. She's coming in. Get your knight coming out. Nice. That's going to be big if you can dodge this. Yep. A couple knight comet charge. You get one, then drink FP. One more. All right, back up. Get far. In case she waterfowls. You don't get greedy, buddy. Oh. Uh. That's scary. You can I'm punish just gonna... that. Just play very smart, bud. Yep, get the heck out of there. I'm getting just, the heck out of dodge. Just so you know, you have no FP. I just want to let you know. Oh. Yo. Yo. The dodge. Just don't, just play insanely Wait. patient. Dad, we're so dumb. You're going to kill her in two casts. That one right there, that you could hit that. Oh. Okay. You have two casts. Be really smart, bud. Last one here. Just do your waterfall. You dodge it, then you get her. Beautiful. Great job. She might aggro here. Yep, she will. Okay. It's okay. Charge cast. She's dead. Game over. It's going to hit. Please. Yes! That's it. yes! Come on. That's what I'm talking about, Let's bud. Go! That's it. Ah, oh, it. That was a good idea. Backing up with the Comet Azure. Yep. And you did 2,000 more damage, I think, by stacking those talismans. I mean, it could have lined and she didn't move, but, you know, let's just say the plan worked. Gosh. Yes. That's it, man. That is it. Oh, my gosh.